I think we really value each other's opinions on things and naturally make decisions together. Uh, you know, we've always shared the same ideas about how money works and we've always just really shared stuff. I think that's... I guess what you mean is like our core values are the same. same core values. Uh, yeah. But... But actually, we we differ in opinion all the time. Oh, we yeah. can be right. like fairly hostile yeah. in our opinions. <laughs> yeah, we're both but we don't ever take it that seriously, or like you know, yeah. uh, I don't know. And but we, even if we fundamentally disagree about something, and it, usually it's a simple thing and not a core thing, um, we respect each other not enough to say, okay, well, that's your opinion over there, and this is mine over here, and we can still live together. Yeah, that. it doesn't it doesn't you know? have to turn into yeah. anything. Bigger than a difference of opinion about yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I would say that I remember quoting to both of my parents when I left that one of my favorite quotes, which is, the heart has reasons that reason knows nothing of. And I'm always right. fascinated about intuition and how, why it would have been that he had that idea when we first encountered each other or why I was so drawn to talking to him that moment at that house party. But I do believe that, that the, the your your heart knows things often well before you do yeah, or you considered about it. Absolutely. And I think, oh, Pascal is who said that. But, um, you know, also that that's sort of how he and I both make decisions about things as well, and which some people would look at and think that's impulsive. Well, wow, you guys had yeah. this two-month romance and then and then reconnected and, and you're suddenly moving in together, whatever. But when you know what's right, you just know what's right. And that's yeah. your heart is telling you what to do. I feel like we knew each other really well from like the get go. It felt like, like it felt like, like I just knew you when yeah. we met. So I knew you'd want a closet. I knew you, I, I, I just, I don't know. That's yeah. what I think. We just know each other well. Yeah. Naturally. I just liked that you had the energy to do that. And then at the time he was starting his business. It turned said, out really well too. Yeah. The closet was nice, but it was funny because he was just starting out his business. And then he's like, okay, I'll be needing a saw. And yeah. I was like, do you need me to buy you a saw in so, order to make right, these Is that a business expense? Or- yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he found me highly annoying working, working together because... <laughs> You know, I would come in and do the sort of wifely things into his office. Like, have you eaten? Do you want a sandwich? You know, (laughs) and he would find that annoying. But uh, that's another thing that I would say that is something that we do really well. We, when it comes to going on a trip or something, we want to be together. We want to be with the family, but we do lots of stuff apart. And one of the things that Andrew was so passionate about when I met him is surfing. And I know I have the athletic ability to surf, but I've never really tried that much because or cared. <laughs> I, I recognize, but I think part of it is that I recognize that that's his solace. He yeah. likes to go out and be in the water. So if you can imagine if like I come paddling up with my too loud voice saying, Hey, what are we having for dinner tonight? You know, and then that kind of ruins his, his tranquility yeah. moment. And, you know, although he jokes with me that I need to have a more a wholesome hobby than drinking wine with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> but socializing is one of your favorite thing yeah. to do. I'm so totally it's not, like, it's not surprising at all that yeah. that's how you like yeah. to relax. Totally.